Hello, my name is Maria, and I'm one of the members of the Berkimendi Meridwan High Street. I'm a Spanish, so today I'm going to show you how to cook a Spanish flan de huevo. This is a real typical dessert, Spanish one, and I have to choose this recipe because it remembers me when I was a child, and my mother used to do it every Sunday, so the smell is really special for me. So, for make our flan, we are going to need one liter of full fat meat, we are going to need one lemon, cinnamon, sugar, six eggs, and my special ingredient that is coconut. To make our flan perfect, like the real Spanish recipe, we are going to use the Spanish flanera. This flanera is special because of the shape, because the flans are always in Spain and in all the Spanish-speaking countries with this shape. So the first step to start to prepare our flan is to have the milk ready. And for it, I'm going to put one liter of milk in a large saucepan. With the cinnamon. And the zest of the lemon. Now that we have our milk ready, we are going to put it to boil during two hours. So one of the most important things in our flan is going to be the milk. We have to leave it cooked for um, around about two hours. And this is because we have to bring it up to boil. And after, we have to turn the heat down low and leave it to reduce at least a quarter. After two hours, we are going to have our milk ready. We are going to put it here outside and we are going to leave it cold. Okay. Now, we are going to start to prepare the caramel. For this, we just need to put six spoons of sugar on the bottom of the flanera. So now we are going to heat it slowly over a gentle heat. Got a perfect caramel color. Now we are going to start to do all the star. And first of all, we are going to put the six eggs. We can start to whisk all eggs. And now we are going to put the six tablespoons of sugar. We whisk all together, always by hand. Never use an electric hand mixer because it's not going to be the same. And we are going to start to put the milk. Remember, six layfuls of our milk. We are going to add it bit by bit. So we can put one and whisk again. We can see that the mixture is taking like a pale color. And we continue adding the milk. Once that we have it ready, I'm going to put my secret ingredient, the coconut. But if you don't like it, you can do it without it. I'm going to put two tablespoons. And we are going to mix it all together. Okay, and now we have it ready to go to the oven. So now we are going to take the caramel that is set and I'm going to put all the mixture inside the flanera. And now we are ready to put it in the oven. So now we have our flan ready to go in the oven. We are going to place the flanera into a deep roasting pan. We are going to close it because we need to cook the flan the first half an hour with the lid, but after we are going to remove the lid. So we take our deep roasting pan and we are going to place it in the oven. And we need to fill with hot water. In this case, we have boiled before the water. Okay, so now we just need to leave for flan cook in the oven. So when you are ready to serve your flan, you just have to take it out from the fridge, remove the lid, and we are going to run a knife all around the perimeter of the flan to release it from the size of the flanera. So now that we have realized the size of the flan, we are going to heat over to get the caramel. 
we leave it on the hob for a few minutes. If we see that we don't have enough caramel, we always can use a blue torch to get more. So now that we have it ready to serve, the base is gonna be warm, so you need to hold it with a tea towel. We are gonna take our plate, and we just have to turn it. And here we are. We have our flan just ready to serve. So now that we have our big flan ready to eat, a suggestion for serving is that we can slice it and we can serve it in plates. We always can put fruit, we can put cream, all that you want. So now you just have to enjoy it. I hope that you have liked my recipe. Thank you.